Now that you're ready to homogenize samples in your bullet blender, it's important to use the appropriate protocol for your sample type. If you're going to homogenize soft or medium consistency samples, here are some basic tips you can use to achieve the best results possible. A soft tissue is one that can be very easily cut with a scalpel, knife, or scissors. Examples of very soft tissue include brain, spleen, and liver. Examples of medium consistency tissues include kidney, muscle, and lung. The BBX24 and BBY24 model bullet blenders homogenize samples inside of microcentrifuge tubes. The maximum recommended sample size is 300 milligrams. Many samples, such as mouse organs, can be run whole inside of the instrument. Other samples, such as this mouse liver here, need to be cut up into smaller pieces. We recommend cutting samples into long, thin rectangles because this shape will homogenize more efficiently than cube-shaped or square samples. First, place the sample in the bottom of the tube. Don't stuff it down there because you want the tissue to be able to move around. This is essential for complete homogenization. Second, add your beads to the sample. For very soft samples, such as brain, you can use glass beads. These beads have the lowest density out of all of the beads we carry. If the sample is a little tougher, or if you just want to play it safe, use zirconium oxide beads. I recommend using a volume of beads that is close to the volume of your sample. If you would like to add beads by mass instead of volume, check out the protocols on our website, www.nextadvance.com, for more specific information. Finally, add the reagent or buffer that you would like to homogenize your samples in. We recommend using a volume of buffer equal to twice the volume of beads that you use. For example, if you use 100 microliters of beads, add 200 microliters of buffer. Alternatively, to save time and still get great results, you can use the Next Advanced Bead Lysis Kits to homogenize your samples. Pink kits are pre-filled tubes that can be used for soft or medium samples that are under 100 milligrams. If your medium or soft samples are over 100 milligrams, Use a red kit tube. Load your samples into the tube and add a volume of buffer equal to twice the volume of beads that you are using. Now it's time to make sure that your tubes are sealed tightly and place them evenly spaced inside of the bullet blender. I have eight samples loaded. I'm going to set the speed to eight and the time to three minutes. Close the lid and press start. Examine your samples. If you see unhomogenized pieces, place them back in the bullet blender and homogenize for another minute or two at speed 10. These samples appear to be fully processed. You can now proceed to the downstream application of your choice.